Hello all, today in this video, I am going to make a demo video for YOLO V8 and also YOLO V5 comparison. Already in the previous video, you would have noticed the YOLO V8. Here we are going to work with YOLO V5 from scratch. A YOLO V8 already we have worked from scratch. And we are making a comparison so that which algorithm is better. Obviously, you may know that YOLO V8 is better, but I am just making it by proof. Uh, because I previous video in YOLO, YOLO V8 itself I would have concluded that if an object if an image is having some certain object means if it is identifying YOLO V8 is identifying that it is having nearly four trucks means YOLO, uh, YOLO uh, V5 with YOLO V5 it is identified that it is having less than four that is three two only not four uh, exactly I am not sure whether uh, YOLO V8 is also providing the exact output but it is better than when compared to YOLO V5. So, first for that, we are going to import the libraries which is used for YOLO, that is Ultralytics import YOLO, then importing PIL, uh, then uh, OS, then ipython.display, and also PathLife. Then we are going to call this. Uh, uh, this uh, point pt by using the yolo library so if, uh, if your folder in which you are working is already having this file means it will not be downloaded the first time if you are using this means in the previous code if you may notice that in this i would i am i would have some uh, output like it is getting downloaded but now at that time i get downloaded right so in this case i will not get that downloaded button obviously it will move to the next option here i am just uh, loading our email image for predicting the object uh, here it is predicted that it is uh, it is having one person five cars two trucks and one traffic light and also um, the names the totally what are the names is having over here is displayed and also the original image dimension is displayed over here uh, then uh, since uh, it is also directed to this runs predict dot directory what is this because uh, this is the folder which I am uh, downloading this uh, working with this function here and uh, experiment is the uh, uh, experiment folder it's uh, uh, created automatically here you can see so in that case uh, here it is getting that I'm so sorry this folder is created automatically so runs predict they predict so the output of the image it is just getting saved into the system out uh, system also already we will we will get this in an output also but it is get saved in our folder also then we are getting the boxes since if you want to uh, make any probability or any other definitions means you can just run over this uh, i'm just running it uh, so because it will just show that the what is the boxes that is coordinates probability etc what are the function um, sizes of every objects identified so in our case two trucks is identified means what are its coordinates what is its probability uh, the x is so displayed over here so if you want means you can use this code or else you can just omit it then i am just plotting the results you can just see that uh, it is this is the output screen we we have displayed uh, already we would you would have seen in the previous video also so this is the next video we have worked with the two uh, images uh, previously also same images we worked in that we got nearly five persons one bicycle six cars two motorcycle one bench etc so other details like speed pre-process inference post for process per image is also displayed and we are going to make to display that image also so this is the details of that image uh, so it is having nearly this much object so this is the output for yolo v8 now we are going to work with yolo v5 already i have downloaded this uh, so in this case also i will not get uh, in that like that it's getting downloading if it is not means i will receive that it is downloading so now yolo v5 takes place so uh, the disadvantage with yolo v8 uh, v5 over v8 is it also takes more time when compared to uh, yolo v8 and also 
also it's not providing better results as yellow v8 we can just make a comparison first we can just make a comparison of, of the object so this is the same image we are working with yellow v8 also here it is yellow u5 so here you can see uh, first we can just check with cars or else everything cars uh, four truck is one and two traffic lights right so this is for yolo v5 so now i'm moving to yolo v4 so here initially it was four cars right but here you can see that car itself is varying five cars and the person is not detected in yolo v5 but here it is uh, detected and also trucks and traffic light and also when comparing to the time it's like 798.6 ms right here but it will take most time right uh, here you can just notice it's 13.8 ms i but in this case it's like 4.0 ms only you can notice that there is some um, some no, vast difference so there is obviously some uh, comparisons between yolo v8 and yolo v5 in compared to the object detection and also speed we can just check with the other image also so in this image also i'm going to work with this yolo v5 so in yolo v5 it is getting uh, four persons five cars two motorcycles and one bench but when we have already worked with the same image in yolo v8 we can just come that uh, it, here, the, in that it was showing only four objects like, like right but here you can see it's five objects and also cars we can just compare uh, what is the number of cars in uh, yolo v5 in yolo v5 it is counting nearly five cars but in yolo v8 it has counted nearly six cars it has not detected bicycle uh, but uh, this YOLO V8 has detected bicycle and also time and compared to YOLO V8 the speed is 3.0 ms but in this case it is 23.4 ms so vast difference so this is the comparison of YOLO V5 and YOLO V8 in the next video we will show some other demo video so if you, if you are interested in knowing some other demo video means like kindly let us know in the comment box so if you are aware of it means we will definitely make a video regarding it thank you